Yeah, you know who this is and what this is. It's your main man, M. Easy, Power on the Five Ones Own. And I'm hanging out with my guy, Emerge, on the radio. Don't move. It's Power on the Five One, home of the Breakfast Club, Angie Martinez, and hip hop and RB. It's your main man, M. Easy. Keeping it easy. Lakewood Jersey on the check in. How you doing? What you doing this afternoon? Cooking. You cook what you cooking on this beautiful Easter Sunday. It better be something good. Oh, 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 shout to all my West Indies, listen. It just really, it just came from me not wanting to whisper my government name to girls in the club that really weren't gonna either holler back or not mean anything. So it was kind of something easy and short for me to say. My first name is Marnell, so M Easy kind of just, kind of just went together. That's where M Easy came from. I am not, I wasn't born there. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, but my mother and father both are from Haiti, Haitian descent. I speak a little Creole as well. Um, I wear my Haitian pride with me every day, everywhere I go, tattoos with me. It's the, uh, the Haitian coat of arms just in the middle of the flag. That's something I, I'm very proud of. Uh, I grew up in a time where it wasn't the coolest thing to be Haitian. Now you see a lot of rappers and and things with, with Haitian flags walking around saying Zoes and all that stuff. But when I was a kid, it wasn't really as popular. But um, it's good to see now that Haitians are having a, a dominant presence in the, in the music scene and in, just in the world in general. I, I'll carry my Haitian pride with me all the way. And my son will speak Creole. And I can't wait to go back to Haiti with my son. I, that's something he will have pride into. Radio was something that was always cool to me. I always enjoyed waking up and listening to the radio. I used to fall asleep listening to the radio, whether it's sports talk radio or just like music in general. Um, I'm a talkative person. I like talking to people. I like listening to their stories. And I think it was something that I kind of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I kind of taught myself how to be a radio personality, just not even knowing radio. Like I would always be in school questioning girls about sexual activities I heard they did with homeboy in third period or, or things like that. Maybe I just have a, a trusting face, people want to tell me things, but I just like, radio was always something I always wanted to be because it was them talking without anybody watching. Like an interviewer, like when you hear a radio interview, you don't understand that it's quote unquote Angie Martinez and so and so, and just in a room nobody else. And now he's sharing that moment with all the world was something that I always wanted to do. It's, <laughs> I, I, there's a lot of things I can't share with y'all because they're not here to share with you, but it's more than crazy, it's more than fun, it's, it's watching greatness before you, I get a front row at greatness every single day. Charlemagne, Angela Yee, DJ Envy are three of the greatest people you'll ever meet. They're, they're down to earth, you can always speak to them. Um, and I learned a lot just sitting in the room and watching them and seeing the way they massage certain guests and or the way they agitate certain people just to get that that content. So I mean, being with them every morning is like a blessing. I can't, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, Power is owned by Clear Channel. Clear Channel is a conglomerate that owns a couple radio stations. So I interned for KTU on their street team for a couple years before I find my way over to Power 105. One street team, I was doing events on their, on their street team, doing like little uh, phone hits, little like like community events, things like that. And then um, I just happened to meet one of the station's jocks at the time, Malika Millette, and she kind of gave me my, my, my start inside the studio. And I was once they let me in, I'm Haitian. You, once you let me in, fam, there's no way you get me out. So I kind of, you know with my way in here and stayed here and just, you know, which is history, you know? Radio was life for me. When I first, when I first, because it was so, I mean, it was so hard for someone to just break into New York radio when I, at the moment of it, all I wanted was to be on the radio. Because for me, that was just the pinnacle. Like, New York radio, I'm from New York. No one from New York gets on and just stay. So it was, it was like radio was life for me at the beginning but as I evolved and grew and being around the breakfast club and DJ self and clue and legends like Angie it was like this is just a platform to springboard to other things so I think a lot of a lot of my time these days after perfecting my art of radio is, is I want to become a, a game show host. I like giving away tickets on the radio I like talking to, to listeners and I think I, I, I want to um, 
I like giving back. And that's pretty much, I think, the best way I could give back on, on the love that I want to give back. So I think a game show host would probably be, if everything falls into place, would be the next thing for me. It's crazy. A lot of people, you say, you, you use the word love a lot. Like, you love your mom, you love your dad. But once you actually have something that you created, like a human being, it's a different type of love. Me being a dad is probably the greatest achievement I'll ever be. Seeing as how I came from a single parent home, my mom, I never really knew my dad like that. So I, I know in my heart I would never do that to my son. And having him in my arms every day is the biggest enjoyment I could possibly, possibly express. There's no words that can express it. I've, I've cried more in the past few days than I've cried probably my whole life, but I'm still having, the smile hasn't left my face. It's, 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 a, it's a melting pot of emotions that I, I just can't really explain, but it's an amazing feeling. You won't understand it until you get your own. I know it's cliche, but when you get yours, you'll understand. Um, I think where, where Dame was coming from was the right idea, just the way he conveyed it wasn't when I, what I agree with. Because to be a boss, you have to own something. And to own something, you gotta have money. And nine out of 10 Americans weren't born with a million dollars. And the other, the other 90 percent of people that don't have that million have to work for it. And if you work nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a boss. Where I think I would change that is, I work for Power One Five One, and that doesn't mean what I what I save here and my little change that I can get doesn't make doesn't mean I can't go buy me a business and be a boss there. So if the same way he could flip it in the street sense. It's the same way I can, I can flip it in a, in a legal sense. I can make all the money I make here, save it, and then go be a boss somewhere else. And that doesn't make me any less of a man or any any less of, of a man. That That's just crazy to me. I think one day I will own a business and I will be a boss of that business. But until then, I got to grind and get this bread. And I mean, maybe if we knew where Dame got his bread from, maybe that would be a different discussion. But his he's about to hand his son a whole lot of money so he could be a boss. Well, what part of the game is that? The best advice I, I got is just to outwork everybody. I think I'm in a position right now in life and in my career where I'm surrounded by legends and a lot of people are looking at me like, what are you doing here? I may not be the most talented person, I may not be the most beautiful person, but I will outwork you. If you can outwork the competition, it's a win. I will outwork you. Um, and as far as lasting memories, I just want people to know like I was, I was there. I mean, you may not have recognized me or saw me, but I was there and I'm always gonna be here and never take yourself too serious. A lot of people take themselves too serious in a world where everyone's trying to be a brand. Man, just be regular, yo. You don't have to force the differences, be yourself, and just work, man. It's all I've, since I was a young kid, the only thing my mom instilled in me was work. This country's not yours, it wasn't built for you. Work. And that's the, only, that's, that's the best thing I can pass on to you. And just keep a lookout for me, man. I am Easy on that, on that Twitter, Instagram, the dot coms, YouTubes, M Easy. It's not spelled regular, it's E M Easy for a reason. I'm different. Thank you.